Swine flu is the name for this latest outbreak of flu, for a novel virus, a new virus that is found in Mexico, in parts of the United States, and now is in New York City and appears to be cropping up in places around the world. It's a new virus because it has genetic pieces of the virus that are, are largely swine in origin. Nothing to do with pigs. Unless your bacon gets up and sneezes on you, there's absolutely no way to catch swine flu from pork or pork products. It's actually not just a swine flu. It has pieces of American swine, Eurasian swine, um, American human flu, and American bird flu. And it's a bizarre mixture of these. Now, that's not uncommon with flus. Flus mix. You get it and you prevent it the same way you get and prevent any cold or flu. It's, I mean, there, there's no difference. It's about people sneezing, wiping their nose with their hands and shaking hands with somebody else. It's about dirty doorknobs and computer keyboards and things like that. You have to watch out for the same things you do all the time to watch out for flu. Flu drugs and flu vaccines are two very different things. A vaccine is a shot that you get before you get sick, there are the seasonal flu shots that we've all had. If you had your flu shot, it's probably a good thing. If you had a flu shot every year for the last 10 years, it's probably a good thing, but nobody really knows. There is no new vaccine for this flu. It hasn't been invented yet. Tamiflu is the one that everybody talks about. This flu does seem to be susceptible to Tamiflu. The other fear is that there is a regular seasonal H1N1 flu that's been circulating all year. It has Tamiflu resistance. So the fear is that this new H1N1 swine flu will cross with the seasonal H1N1 flu and produce a version that is Tamiflu resistant. That's one of the big fears virologists have. But as far as I know, it hasn't happened yet. Flu has emerged now because flu pandemics emerge at least two times every century and probably have, you know, for hundreds of years. But we've just only been marking them pretty well since 1918. Everybody remembers 1918 because so many people died during that. Basically, a pandemic means everywhere. There are all sorts of formal ways of declaring a pandemic alert, and there's a lot of sort of push it back and forth at the World Health Organization about when do you raise the pandemic alert. The WHO has no power to tell anybody to do anything, but very often it causes member countries to say, okay, that's it, we will cut off all travel from that country or to that country. I would like to uh, inform you uh, that today both the CDC and the State Department uh, will be issuing uh, travel alerts uh, related to swine flu uh, and related to travel to Mexico. This flu scares virologists. Something like 36,000 people die of flu every year in this country, but it is mostly old people. This flu is remarkable because they noticed in Mexico that it seemed to be attacking a lot of young, healthy people. And that's a characteristic of pandemic flus. We're now in the season in which flus don't get transmitted very well. We're getting into warmer weather. Um, so I talked to a doctor yesterday who said, this is going to be nothing, but when it comes back in the fall and winter, look out. He might be right, he might not. You never know. And flu is one of the most unpredictable things in the world.